Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are headed back to Menlo Park. It's been a long time since I've been there. Really missed the avocado toast. Slight chance this might be the only Italian car there today for a certain reason. We'll see what, what else we find over there. This is a good turnout. I thought, you know, because I got here late. Man. That is nice. All right, so we got my 4C out here. Good company and a familiar Type R down there, but avocado toast. There we are. It has been months since I've come here for this goodness. Got the coffee too. And of course the cars. Got a super nice purple wrap Maserati. And you got a couple of Lotuses. Yeah, check them out and see if they have some track spec stickers. Hopefully by the time I'm done with the Avo Toast, we can see what else is out there. All right, Avocado Toast is done. Check out these M2s. Some nice examples. They're pretty much similar color, except we got a lip down there. We got super nice carbon fiber on that. This one we do not. And both of them have this carbon fiber diffuser. Super sick. Really want to try one of these. Oh, this one says CS. This one says competition. Okay. Got some stuff to learn about M2s. So well, we have this Maserati that we saw pull in with the nice purple wrap on it. Love the look. The little yellow accents throughout. You can see them in there as well. And on the Trident. The Lumpia M2, we've seen this one actually for a long time. And I've seen it in super random places as well, including Santana Row. And yes, track spec. We got a track spec sticker. The G-Wagon, it's not the only G-Wagon here today. We'll check out the other ones soon. Oh, we got the Tesla. Really nice wheels on it, and it is being charged as it should. A nice S2K right here. My friend Sam let me drive his back when he had one, and I remember thinking it was like a go-kart. Got the beautiful Sylvia. Really nice HRE wheels on there. All right, I might be stumped. And no, oh, yeah, Alfa Romeo, what the? <laughs> I said it was something that's an Alfa Romeo as well. Super nice. Give a look at the front. Remember how I said mine would probably be the only Italian car here? I guess I was wrong. The reason being is it's, it's Italian, all Italian day in Alameda. And yeah, I'm obviously not there. Alfa Romeo giving us a nice start. There we are. It won't break your eardrums, but sounds good. Such a beauty. Love how that window on the back just kind of curves. Really nice. Another G-Wagon there. I don't think it was part of the meet, but there it is. Yeah. Check out this Corvette real quick. Look at that. Really nice. You got a few classics right here. Always love to see these. You just don't see them enough out and about. Wow. If you don't follow the channel, I've said it multiple times. I almost bought a Mustang uh, when I was 18. And it would have been something around this era. You got James's Porsche out there. He had a little funk with it, but yeah. should be all good now. A couple of hot rods. Yeah, super clean BMW. And it is for sale. A nice Corvette. Look at this one with the white wall tires. Looking really good. Look, this is interesting how the license plate is inside of like a glass case. Really cool. Don't know if that's how they were before. i give you a look at the interior. Don't know if that's a speaker right there or what. But really cool. Very nice to look at. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, yes. A Ferrari. Again, an Italian car that's here on Italian day, when Italian day is somewhere else. Yeah, look at that, look how that opens up. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> oh man, sweet looking Ferrari. Carrera 4S uh, from the 996 era with the big old badonka donk. Really clean interior, yeah. Makes me think of uh, Bobby. Shout out to Bobby. We got yet again another M2. And right next to that, we got Dexter's uh, Mustang. And we got the SS. The SS, we've seen this a few times. It's a very unique car. Basically has like a Corvette engine in it. A little 356. Normally they're replicas, but always nice. Not sure if this one is or not. The E36 M3, beautiful wheels. The stance on that, beautiful. Again, we got my 4C. And the engine cover just looking lovely. Uh, hard to see it because of all the reflection, but yeah, I really love how this looks now uh, that it's out in the sun, out here, closed. 
Looking really good for sure. Got another speedster here. Got a nice Volkswagen. Looking really cool. Got the beach vibes all over it. Nice little Ford ST right here. Got the carbon fiber on it. There we are. Look at that. Got the doggo in there and everything. Oh, you gotta love that smell. GTI looking really good. We got a nice Mini. That's the GT3 Porsche headed out and a Ferrari coming right in. Either a 488 or a 458. I don't know. I don't know my Ferraris, but what a beauty. And right here we have an FD, the RX-7 with the rotary engine. We'll go check out the front. Yes, there we are. Uh, definitely one of my favorites of like all time. And we got the beautiful Alfa Romeo Giulia. The first time I see this one particularly, actually I might have seen it once in Milpitas, but yeah, I love how he's done the carbon fiber right here. You know me, I'm a sucker for carbon fiber. The lip on this with the red pinstripe. It is carbon fiber as well. I could have sworn that on the quadrifolios are active and they move, but I could be wrong. He also has the carbon fiber on the thing that I can never pronounce. And we got a bit of carbon fiber here as well on the side skirt. The wheels looking lovely. On the back, same thing, carbon fiber. Like how he blacked that out, really cool. The diffuser has a little bit of red pinstriping as well. Kind of hard to see, sorry about that. Ooh, I like this a lot. You got the carbon fiber around the Alfa Romeo emblem. Carbon fiber there on this little shark tail antenna or whatever it may be definitely do something like this if i had a quadrifolio oh we got ooh, mclaren mclaren with the batman symbol and yeah, check out the e36 there check out the back of the ford focus Ooh, that sounds good <laughs> really nice yeah, check out the back of dexter's saline mustang really cool really nice m3 uh, it's like a bluish purple almost carbon fiber roof that's looking good got our old chevy pickup truck and of course uh, back there we got a little speedster and we have this one right here this is james james if you don't know he is the one that organizes these meets uh, he's also a very talented artist and you can see his website right there uh, for some beautiful art yeah. And look at the beautiful wood, the leather straps. We got James over there talking to some folks. And you know I don't know what to call them, so I call them initial D cars. Got the carbon fiber on there. I love it when cars have a little modern touches to it. And in this case, they have, yeah, they have the Volk Ray wheels, but they also have the old school 1980s. Uh, speakers chilling in the back there which brings back a lot of memories i'm a kid from the 80s I'll give you a look at the back looking really good and see that's what i'm saying right there the speakers yeah very reminiscent of well not reminiscent it is from the 80s <laughs> nostalgic that's what that's the word i'm trying to use yeah manual save the manuals all right we're back at the ferrari that pulled in and yeah interesting he has the blue license plate uh this was probably 1980s ish it says big loan i would have to take out a really big loan if i wanted one of these or you guys can just watch more of my videos i'm joking no i'm not but yeah super nice ferrari right there sf obviously that stands for san francisco super beauty shout out to my friend kathy she let me start up one of the ferraris on, in her fleet uh, and it was really nice tesla has some nice black wheels like that the beautiful ISF, yeah, look at that. The more modern headlights, I'm a big fan of that. And the wheels, almost like a bronze. And yeah, she's a little dirty, but it still looks good. You know, I'm a fan of Lexus. I have my LS430, if you guys don't follow the channel. Yeah, big fan of Lexus. Three Lexuses in our fleet at home. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh yeah, they did the tail lights, and you gotta love the quad exhaust. Non-functioning, but still really nice looking. Oh yeah. So nice Ooh, again we got my 4c you got the porsche on its way out sounding really good yeah hope you guys can see the pearl like i see it right there yeah there we are yeah getting a little empty and that was because i was really late there we are time to go there we are really close on the intercooler of the 4c and then bam right there yeah julia looking so pretty All right, that's gonna do it for today. Got here late, didn't get a whole lot of cars, but still nice cars nonetheless. And I got my avocado toast, finally got to meet some really nice people out here as well. Yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure to share that or like that. What? Hold on.
Make sure to give that a thumbs up, share with anyone who might like this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll talk to you guys later.